What's going on, you guys? This is Pete with the thrift store went down. Last week, I did a video paying my respects and bidding a final farewell to the Revival Community Thrift Store in Patterson on Washington Street. It lasted less than a year, but it had a good one. The manager Jason was lovely and welcoming, uh, and although they didn't have the coolest of items, I thought some would stand out. So, Revival will always hold a special place near and dear to me because it was closer to my mother's workplace and it had its fair share of cool items. Today, however, I thought we'd look at the other end of the spectrum and bid a final farewell and pay my respects to a retail shop which you and I both know, Kmart. I'm here in Elwood Park to pay my respects to the big Kmart which will soon close in less than 10 days. A shop line will be taking its place. Um, I got an incoming call from somebody, so hang on one second. Yes? Where are you, buddy? I gotta pick up something. I just dropped something. Um, I got my friend on the line, David. I'm about to meet up with him inside the Kmart. And we're just going to, I don't know, walk around and pay our respects, I guess. He is very scared about the fact that security might say something about me filming. Heck, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for six years. You think I don't know by now how to handle security? So anyway, I'm about to meet up with him inside the big Kmart. Maybe, just maybe, we can spot a DVD I've been looking for. So let's find out. Penny up right now. Let's go. So there it is. Please pardon the image. I am walking toward the big Kmart in Elmwood Park. I guess you know which DVD I would like to look for. Truth or dare. I have some reservations about it, but this pretty little liar super fan will not give up. That DVD, if it is inside there, better be less than seven bucks. Because if it's not, then it's not going to be mine. And I'm going to be sad and lament about it for days and days onward. But it will be worth it either way because I get to hang out with my best friend and thrift store run down field co-host, David Romero, DRN981. So off we go into the big Kmart. I guess possibly for the very last time. This is my first time taking the camera inside Kmart. David already did a video, a silent walkthrough of the big Kmart. Just a nonchalant silent walk. It's up on the channel, link is in the description below. But this time, I'm going in there with my camera and we're going to see and you're going to see what this store can really do. Well, this is sad. Store closing. These are the current hours as of right now. Come July of the 28th or something, or the, the 17th, I don't know, nine days from the date of filming, this store will be history. Time to call him. Whoa, Mero! Whoa, Mero! Where are you, boy? Where are you, Romero? Look at this. This is sad. Empty shelves. Now I know what they were talking about. This is really sad. Empty, empty, empty. This is ridiculous. I mean, I have been here only a few times in my life, and yet it shuts down because of competitors and big business. Look at this. It's just a really tragic shame. In my view, if you want to shop at your own leisure, thrift stores exist because they're easier to access. Retail shops exist because, well, if you want to splurge, that's what retail shops are for. That's my opinion. That's the only reason why I come here to splurge. We gotta find the boy because he'll keep calling me if I don't. All right, I'm in between the DVD sets in. Yep, one kid in between miles and miles of DVDs. Not really miles of DVDs, but you get what I mean. And even though they ticket 60% off these DVDs and VHS tapes, the prices are still horrid compared to what I pay when I go to the thrift store. I now know that thrift store prices beat retail prices 
by not even a slight nail margin, by a mile. These prices are still horrid. But I'm here, and I might as well make the most of it. I want to find Truth or Dare, but that doesn't look like it's going to be possible. You know, Truth or Dare has Lucy Hale and Pixels. Stay away from Pixels. Pixels has Ashley Benson on the cover, Lady Lisa, the back cover, I mean. So always be Hannah Marin from Pretty Little Liars. The other PLL fan of me just cannot avoid this. She is too sexy as hell for me to disregard in any capacity on my YouTube. Still, however, don't waste your money on this. There's the guy. Hey, you. Hey! You wanna be here, buddy? I'm here. Hey, you. Are you forgetting your line? Or do I have to say it for you? Hello, guys. Hello, guys. You doing Bello? Hey, I can't follow you. I gotta look for more DVDs. There are people up the wazoo in here. Someone's gonna wanna fetch a complaint. So I better go back to looking discreetly. What's the meaning of this? It's a hostile takeover. Of what? Of you. If the DVD section takes up a majority of my video, I apologize. But I'm looking for truth or dare. Looks like they're not gonna sell it. We found Pitches again, and once again we found Ashley Benson. Hello, Ness. Still the DVD section. If you need any reason to care about the movie Pixels, I will give you one right here on the back cover. Look here. Ashley Benson. Same deal right here. Ashley Benson. It doesn't stop there. Ashley Benson. And over here on this side. Are you kidding me? Ashley Benson. Ashley Benson. Ashley Benson. You will not catch me buying pixels anytime soon. But I gotta say, for what it's worth, that may be the only reason to care about this movie. Oh, Ashley Benson. I am in love with Hannah Marin. Oh, we got some Family Guy here too. We don't ever want to leave out Family Guy. And they have volume 12. I would like this. I would definitely like this, but it's $9.99. I tell you, these prices are relatively horrid. Well, Family Guy deserves a bit more respect than that. Yeah, I guess Truth or Dare won't be in the cards for us today. Oop! Ashley Benson on Blu-ray. I love you, Hannah Marin. Or Lady Lisa, one of the two. I'll say, the thrift store has better prices than this. And that is the dead on the street. Oop! Ashley Benson. So here we are with the uh, CDs, more DVDs. I still look at the DVDs and CDs with more attention. Boop! More pixels. Ashley Benson. These are the books. Messy display. And yet, still visually appealing. Except this. The Stop and Drop Diet. Too much of that book. And I don't even know what that is. Must be some sort of diet book. I want you guys to take a look right behind me. That section over there, they used to sell magazines and uh, other trade newspapers in that section, but now they're all cleared out, all sold. And they used to be stacked with televisions up the wazoo. Those have all been sold too. This is a store that is slowly but surely um, taking a final bow forever. And it really is kind of a shame. Look, even the soup cans behind me and the broths and the uh, assorted home goods they're selling out immediately with 50, 40, 60, even 70% off. Even the toys. 
well, still relatively fully stocked, but even the toys are taking a beating. Really is sad. Don't let the upbeat radio fool you. I mean, uh, this is a bit melancholy for me. Look at this. This is what used to be the garden shop around here, and now it's relatively empty. My apologies for the continuing use of that word relatively, but, you know, it's semi-empty. Still sad. Oh, come on, man. So this might be the very last thing you ever buy from here, right? I guess now, yeah. you insisted that I come here to pay my respects, right? Yeah, well, because for a visit. For the you need to speak work. louder. Kmart's closing at Emma Park in nine days to the 28th. By that day, I'm going to be upload, recording the video. I'm going to be uploading those parts that I filmed right before. The second floor is closed upstairs. The cells are empty. Yeah. And yet they're not selling any more magazines, so I think that's really the side of sinking for me now. This is a terrible sign. They're selling back to school supplies in the middle of July. I'm going to set it here. Hold on. That says all sales final. No returns. That accounts for every single thing purchased in here from every department. Health and beauty, cosmetics, the pharmacy, auto care, tools, books, DVDs, CDs, back to school supplies. Everything in here is final when it's sold. No refunds. It's a dark day in Elwood Park. We are now leaving the Kmart in Elwood Park. David got his board game. Yep, Othello. You gotta review that, bud. You gotta go to your channel and yeah, review it. Oh, wait, yeah. you seen my work. All hands on deck this summer. Yes, that's true. All hands on deck. Game normally has reversing. Mostly known as reversing, they call it Othello. Yeah. And you know what we got? Okay. And you know what that writer got it from? The book. The book. Oh, there's a book about it? I think. Ah, well, David insisted that I come here for one final time. I've only been to this place a few times. And yet it holds some meaning to me because I bought a few things from here. Including a Star Trek book. The Star Trek magazine about all the films, I bought that from here. A couple people magazines, one of which about The Bachelorette, I bought it from here. Elmwood Park came out. So yeah, I will say, with great sincerity and conviction that I will miss the big Kmart in Elwood Park once it closes down. Because that place is a really cool place to shop at. You know, it's bad enough when the thrift store shuts down because my mission and visit is to bring Hollywood home on a budget. It's much more than just a sign off and a sign on. That's my mission for this channel. But you know what? We have to pay our respects to the opposite end of the spectrum, and that is retail. Kmart, Target, Walmart, Best Buy, wherever. But when one of those stores shut down, I feel like I'm obligated to sort of pay my respects because those places exist for you to splurge. That's the only reason why they exist, in my opinion. So I wish everyone at Kmart the best of luck. And obviously, the 28th, I will be posting. The day it closes, I'm going to upload the Blue Detect films. Okay, and hopefully I can use them here. So uh, look to DRN981 for those. We're heading home. So that's it for us. Oh, and by the way, not to water down a semi-somber video, but we did not locate Truth or Dare, nor did we locate any PLL DVDs. Pretty little liars. And I think that's the one major regret I have from this place shutting down, that I wasn't able to make it here in time to get one of those. Thank you for hanging out with us. That's it, the store went down. Retail or second hand, we bring Hollywood home. See it again? On our budget. There you go. Blame the traffic for that. We'll talk to you guys later. Whoop! I guess we're not done yet, folks. 82 degrees and sunny in Elmwood Park. And I thought I would make a stop at Walgreens to check out People's Commemorative Magazine celebrating customer service needed in the cosmetic department and 
the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. You better have Troy and Belisario and Patrick J. Anderson here, or it's going to be mayhem and mutiny. Finish the examination of the magazine. No Troy and no Patrick. Me buying this book? Not a chance. And we're still not done. Guess what I just found in the DVD section, which by the way, is extremely minimalist. That's all the DVDs they have in there, movie-wise. Taylor Swift's Reputation. $15.99. Ouch. This is indeed retail, but even at that price, goodbye Taylor Swift. Uh, you know what, you deserve a bit more respect. <laughs>